There are a number of animations in the game that you can cut short via various actions. Some examples. If you reload or swap your weapon immediately before entering a vehicle, it will be fully reloaded or swapped when you exit the vehicle. Reloads can also be skipped by swapping your weapon. Vehicle exit animations can be skipped by leaving the vehicle while there's something blocking your path. Recoiling from nearby explosions can be skipped altogether by jumping. And swapping weapons can abbreviate the animation triggered by shockwaves. Most importantly for runs, though, is animation skips related to Deck 52 members, like verification skips. If you're cooking a grenade at the same time you verify a dead card, it will immediately cut to the payment screen and skip the animation where your player takes a photo of the HVT. This can save a lot of time in full game runs. This trick can be done with stuns or frags, and it's important to pick your grenade type carefully. If you're close to your vehicle, stuns are advised so that you don't cause massive damage to it. Just make sure to enter the vehicle quickly or you'll stun yourself. Otherwise, frags are generally recommended because it can be difficult and unpredictable to escape the stun radius. Be careful not to let go of the trigger and throw the grenade before the verification starts. Occasionally, throwing a grenade at the exact moment you verify a card can render you unable to move, softlocking the game. I've actually lost record paced runs because of this, but it's pretty easy to avoid. Another useful one is pickup skips. If your character is in the middle of a crouching animation, when you try to pick up an HVT, you'll skip the pickup animation. This has limited use in categories where you're not required to capture deck of 52 members, but it still saves a decent amount of time even if it's only used once or twice. The easiest way to pull this off is to make sure that the camera is facing a different direction than your character model when you initiate the crouching animation. When you crouch, your character model will always turn to face the exact direction of the camera. If you're facing the same direction as your character, the crouching animation occurs instantly. But if your character needs to turn slightly before fully crouching, that gives you a decent window of time to tap the action button and pick up the HVT. There are probably more animation skips out there that we haven't yet discovered, so keep an eye out for them and experiment with different things. You could find a major new optimization.